Hi my loves, welcome back to a new video. So today I'm going to be swatching the new Huda Beauty Faux Filler lip glosses. I'll show you guys all the shades on me and then just give you my thoughts on them. But yeah, let's waste no time and jump straight into it. I hope you guys find this video helpful. The leaflet right here. It does say that these have vitamin E, they're vegan. They have plant derived um, melted waxes to give like that shiniest glass like finish. It also says that it melts into the lips to smooth out like the fine lines and it creates that like lip filler effect without the tingling feeling so i feel like if you're someone that doesn't like all these plumping glosses and that burning sensation on your lips or that tingling feeling on your lips then i think this will be nice because because you're not going to feel any of that retailing for 18 pounds they are a little bit on the high end um but i have tried these already and some of them give like the prettiest effect to my lips like it definitely looks like i'm like i've got filler it just smooths out natural fine line lips, you know. For the first one, I'm going to use the lip contour in the shade Deep Rose, just for the outer edge. Some of these shades are too light and they're just going to look off. Like, they're not going to look good if I don't put lip liner. And I wouldn't wear them without lip liner anyways, so I might as well just show you guys how I would wear it. If I don't, you guys will be like, Anushka, that does not look good. And I'll be like, I know, I didn't put my lip liner. This is what they look like. The packaging is really cute. And the first shade I'm trying is Sugar Baby. It comes with a doe foot applicator like that. It's very p different in my opinion. Only thing I would say is that it's a little bit hard to get the applicator out of the bottle. Like you kind of have to like fight with it and sometimes gloss jumps everywhere. So that's kind of like a downside. Honestly, these just glide on. They look really nice. I think this is one of my favorite shades, Sugar Baby. Even better with a brown lip liner, to be honest. But can you guys see that shine? It's so pretty. Now, if you have been watching some reviews, a lot of people have been noticing that it kind of like clumps together, like in between your lips when you talk. Obviously for me it's not doing that, but if you do put a lot, it does do that. It depends if you consider that a downside. For me, I don't because I feel like you don't need a lot of product with this. It's already really pigmented, so you only need a little bit amount. Like it just doesn't happen to me. But if you're used to putting a lot of gloss on then and then you have to be more careful, then that could be considered as a downside. I try to put like way more, which to be honest, I don't, but it starts to do that. Which is super unattractive, by the way. Imagine you're on a date and you're like, Hi, my name is... So what do you do? I think I'm going to get the salad. What are you going to get? I think it does that because of the wax in the product. But if you don't put too much, it's fine. Do you know what I mean? So, I don't know. Take take that how you want to like I, I don't know like for me it's not about a downside and it's not going to stop me from using these i do really like them especially the last shade which i'm going to get to in a moment on to the next shade i'm going to use the shade rich brown in the lip liner for this one one of my other favorites is honey i mean i just can't get enough guys these look so and they're just like super comfy as well i've been wearing them out and they do last really well on the lips for gloss so i'm not gonna lie like i don't have to reapply this as much as i would with like other glosses yeah that is honey another favorite the next shade is bombshell i could get away without a liner for this one but yeah this one is a really nice wearable shade for every day as well they're pretty right i'm a fan I'm a fan, that's all I'm gonna say. This is gonna be a really super like quick video. Next shade is Foxy. This is like a terracotta brown almost. But can you guys see the shine? So yeah, that one is a really nice shade. It's like a super wearable, and again, I could get away without lip liner with this one. So pretty. This one's in the shade Posh. This one's a little bit on the cooler side for me. I mean, it's pretty, but it's just not my favourite shade. It's very mauvey, very cool, and I don't tend to go towards those shades for my lips. It's almost like that 90s colour. But then we have Coco. This is like your chocolatey brown. 
It's a little bit on the darker side for my liking. At first it does apply a little bit patchy, but once the kind of formula settles into your lines and everything, it looks fine. So yeah, that is Coco. Second time I'm filming this because I filmed it for Instagram and TikTok and now I'm filming it for YouTube. That's dedication right there, guys. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button to show your love. Okay, now let's go on to the last one, but I think it's my most favourite one. I'm just going to put a little bit of warm brown lip liner. I wish this shade was a little bit darker. I feel like Huda needs to come out with more lip liners. Like, more brown lip liners. My most favourite one is Glassy. It's the clear one. Don't ask me why and how we got to this, but the clear one, there's just something about it. It's literally just that it's Glassy. Can you see that? Can you see the shine? The gloss? So yeah, those are all the shades. I really hope you guys found this swatch video helpful. I used to do so many lip swatch videos before. So many are on my channel if you guys want to watch them because I still get comments on them to this day and people still find them helpful. My favourite shades are definitely Glassy, Sugar Baby and Honey. Overall, I do really like these. I think I'll probably give them an 8 out of 10 just because it's really hard to get the dough, the dough for applicator out of the bottle and also if you put too much it gives that kind of like clumping effect. But other than that, I really like them. I would use them. I think if I ran out of Glassy, I would go out and purchase it. But yeah, thank you so much for stopping by to watch this video and I'll see you guys in my next one.